Let's not play ball. Blue Jays will not be playing in Toronto this season. The mayor said it was fine. The premier said it was fine. The Trudeau liberals said it was not fine. We are broadcasting from Secret Bar on top of the George Restaurant in Queen Street East in Toronto. My guest is Adrian Batra, the editor-in-chief of the Toronto Sun. I put the question to you. Did once again sports fans and Torontonians and people in the GTA in Ontario get shafted by the Trudeau Liberals? Yes, they did. But it was a very political decision. Yes. As you mentioned, Mayor Tory said A-OK. Premier Ford said A-OK. But those two politicians at their level, they're not responsible for the federal borders. And so they can say yes. they're responsible for the yes. health of the citizens, though. Sure they are. And where else could you social distance then in ultimately, the Rogers Centre? Ultimately, it was um, uh, the Liberals that had to make this call. So Ford and, and, and Tory could pretty much say anything. Um, but whether or not you are able, or ca able and capable of controlling the environment whereby the players are coming and going, that's a question mark. Sh sure, there are Thousands of people sure are coming rules, from the States sure every day. Yeah, but thousands of people aren't going to have cameras shone upon them and spotlights on them day in, day out. If there's a camera or a spotlight on you, you have to be more careful and that, vigilant as I, opposed I would, to a private citizen. I would agree with that. And frankly, I would think that the Jays, knowing that an individual fine for them to, for breaking their quarantine or breaking out, as it were, of their of their bubble, yes. would cost them $750,000. I would think they would be very responsible. I would think that with a shortened season of only 60 games, they can um, live with not being able to be so social and out there. We've all done it. That is very They're logical. They're very capable. People that's very logical. And I know that's right. logical, but we're dealing with the Trudeau government, who is generally illogical. So we can give a zillion reasons why it's a good idea, and we can give um, all these important reasons why, and you know, for broadcasting rights, and for people, frankly, to just watch some ball, which is really what uh, you know what a lot of Canadians want to do. Um, the, but the Liberals decided to make yet another political decision, which I think they feel is more um, expedient because they probably had a lot of Toronto area MPs that said, if we have even one case, it's on us not on anybody else. So they have no political will on this one. If the mayor said yes, mm -hmm. premier said yes, yeah. you're down in a stadium where everybody can socially distance, the players are fined heavily, big money, big money. if they uh, break out of the quarantine Correct. when they're here. Yeah. It just seemed to be a perfectly good thing to have baseball in, in Canada. Well, I mean, I say it selfishly as, you know, the editor of one of the largest sports sections in the country, you know, at the Toronto Sun, sports is our, our bread yes. and butter in so many ways. Uh, and it really is, you know, we're all missing out on so much um, coverage and, and so much opportunity for Canadians to see great baseball players. Um, and, and nonetheless, the entertainment factor, which we so sorely need these days since we've been under lockdown since March. Um, but a politically expeditious decision for the Trudeau Liberals, one to which which um, there will be little to no consequence for making. Adrian Batra, thank you very much for more entertainment. Read the Toronto Sun. That's the three minutes. Thank you for watching. We are going to continue to broadcast from the secret bar here on top of the George Restaurant Courtyards on Queen Street East in Toronto. In these days where politicians are spending a lot of your money, Parliament's not sitting, it's important to have an independent news source. That's what we are doing. We hope you subscribe.